Hi everyone, in this problem we have an indefinite integral and so we're going to use a formula to attempt to try to do this. So the formula that we're going to use is the following. So if you have the integral of du over u square root of 1 plus u squared, this is actually equal to negative inverse of the hyperbolic cosecant of the absolute value of u uh, plus c. Okay, that's what it's equal to. That's the formula. Um, and you can also write this as uh, minus inverse hyperbolic sine of 1 over the absolute value of u. So uh, some books have both. The book I'm following uh, has both of these formulas. That's a negative one there, by the way. So we have to make what we have match this. You know, we can use either of these answers, both are correct. The problem is we have a four here, so we need to get rid of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some math here on the side. So if we have the square root of four plus x squared, this four needs to be a one. So what we can do is we can pull out a four and write this as one plus uh, x squared over four, just like that. Really clever, right? It's really, really cool. And then we can break this up into two square roots. So this is the square root of four times the square root of one plus. And now we can write this as x over two quantity squared. And that's just gonna become a two. So we have one plus x over two squared. And I wrote it that way because that's gonna be our u. You see, that's that's going to be our, our u. So again, everything has to match here, so let's 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 work on it. So we have dx over, and so we have our x here. And we rewrote just this piece, right? All we've done so far is rewrite this piece, and we've written it like this. So we have a two here, and then we have a square root here, okay? And then we have our one plus x over two squared. We're not quite there yet, and the reason is, you see in this formula, here you have u and here you have u. So this x needs to be an x over two, okay? And it's not, so we need to make sure it is. So let's do it in steps. Step one is let's, let's move this two out of the way. So one half integral dx over x square root one plus x over two squared. Okay, this next step is the key step. Again. We're not able to use the formula quite yet because this doesn't match this. So now what I'm going to do is the following. Watch this. I'm going to make it match. I'm going to come over here because I'm running out of room. And I'm going to use a different color. So we have dx. So what do we want? Let's think about what we want. We know we want this. So we're going to keep that. So this is the square root of 1 plus x over 2 squared. We know we want that. And we can't really manipulate this anymore. That's going to be our u. Our u is x over 2. Here we have an x. So what we do is we just make it an x over 2. I say, whoa, you can just do that? You can make it an x over 2? We can, right, if we put a 2 out here. You see? Uh, rather, not here. Um, if we put a 2 uh, down here. Right? Because 2 times x over 2, the 2's cancel, right? So we can do that. But then we already have this one out here. So that one is there as well. So basically, we, we have an extra 1 half, right? So this is the one we already had, the one I've circled, and this is the one we put there that will cancel this x. So now this is 1 fourth integral dx over x over 2 square root 1 plus x over 2 squared. And now you can convince yourself that it's correct. Look at this. 4 times x over 2 is 2x. It's what we had up here, you see? So everything, everything is okay. Now we can make our substitution. u is equal to x over 2. So du, well, the derivative of x is 1, so we just get 1 half dx. Okay, 1 half dx. And remember, this is going to be our u, and so is this right here. So uh, we don't have a 1 half here, so let's multiply both sides by 2. So 2 du is equal to, 2D, is equal to dx. And now let's make our substitution. Our dx, it's a different color here, our dx is going to be 2du. So I'm going to pull out the 2. 
the 4 is still there from the 1 fourth, and this is du. So you see the dx here became 2 du over u square root 1 plus u squared. Look how beautiful that is. Now we finally have it matching the formula up here, you see. Beautiful. And so this is just one half here, so one half. And let's let's use let's use this one. So this is uh, negative, and then we have the inverse of the hyperbolic cosecant of the absolute value of u plus c. So this is going to be equal to negative one half, the inverse of the hyperbolic cosecant of the absolute value of x over 2. That's a negative 1 there. Plus c. That would be one acceptable answer. Another acceptable answer would be if you use this formula here. Okay. Um, if you use that one, you would get 1 half negative inverse of the hyperbolic cinch of 1 over the absolute value of u plus c. And then we know that u is x over 2, so this is negative 1 half inverse of the hyperbolic sign. And so it would be 1 over the absolute value of x over 2 plus c. This would be negative 1 half cinch inverse. The 2 can come out of the absolute value. It doesn't really matter, uh, but I'll leave it in or I'll take it out. It doesn't matter because it's a 2. So it's 2 over the absolute value of x plus c. Same thing here. You can take the 2 out of the absolute value. You just can't take the, t the x out because you don't know what x is. So kind of a, a harder problem, uh, and I think the hardest part is just setting it up at the beginning to make it match uh, this formula. So I hope this video uh, has, has been helpful. Good luck.